Hey friends, if you encounter the volume activation error code 0x80072322 b DNS name does not exist, then please watch this video. Now, before anything else, I'll show you something. If you encounter an issue with activation, you will notice a troubleshoot icon here. Now, I am showing this in a screenshot because it won't be present on my system until and unless I face an issue with activation. Okay, so you have to click on this troubleshoot option to, and try to troubleshoot it. Now, here's what this troubleshooter does. If your system already has the license and the computer was unable to detect the license and your computer is connected to the internet properly, then it will pick up the license and solve the problem. And that is what happens in most of the cases. So in 60% of the cases, troubleshoot will fix the problem. Now, here's one more thing this error occurs with volume activation key so did you buy a volume activation key if you purchase one of those cheap windows keys online then you are bound to encounter this error why are you bound to encounter this error because those volume activation keys are not uh, retail keys they are not supposed to be for retail system they are supposed to be bound by companies and uh, if you are working with the company a uh, work you have a work account or a school account or any organization account then please contact the IT administrator of your company. Okay. And uh, then there is another case. And this case is that uh, you have to check the kind of key you use. So open the Microsoft Store. This will actually help in, in a lot more manners. Search for Show Key Plus. I'll repeat it Show Key Plus. It's an app. Okay. You have to install it. I have already installed it. So I'll click on Open. And check what is it in here is it oem key if it's an oem key then an oem key is bound to your computer and you cannot use it on a different computer is it a volume licensing key if it's a volume licensing key that keys should be working with organization based computers only and if you have an organization based computer then talk to your it administrator or use the troubleshoot option the one which i was showing here there's nothing else that you can do about it from your end and if it is a retail key then either contact Microsoft or contact the Microsoft store from which you purchase that license because that license should work. Was this helpful? If yes, then please subscribe to the channel. And if not, then let us know in the comment section of this video on how we could help you further. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.